Welcome to this Daikin webinar on the renovation wave and the importance of heat pumps to decarbonize the heating sector. My name is Caroline and I will be your Daikin host for your ISH Digital 2021. Out of our Daikin headquarters in Belgium, Hervé Piret from the residential heating business unit is going to walk you through this webinar. Enjoy! Hello. In this webinar, we will address the importance of heat pumps for the residential market and their potential to decarbonize heat. Heat pumps have the possibility to create a true renovation wave in the building segment. The trigger for this webinar lies with the European Union's Green Deal, aiming to be the first continent to become climate neutral by 2050. This will be accompanied by a huge investment plan which already includes the target to reduce CO2 emissions with 55% by 2030. Other countries are also stepping up their activities. Switzerland aims to become climate neutral by 2050 and Norway already by 2030. And UK has announced a plan for Green Revolution last November also including huge investment plan from the public and private sector, where their key elements are the ban on new gas boilers, massive investment in heat pumps, and the creation of over 250,000 jobs. With these plans, we believe that there's a true ambition and potential to decarbonize heat in the residential sector, in the building sector. And transforming this building sector will be key to be able to reach those targets. Actually, the EU Commission is targeting a 40% penetration of renewables in heating and cooling by 2030. Heat pumps, and by extension hydronic heat pumps, will play an essential role in this building and residential sector. Now, why are we focusing so much on this residential sector? Let me take you through a couple of statistics. Over one third of all CO2 emissions are generated by the building sector. More than half of EU's energy consumption is used for heating and cooling, of which 80% in buildings. When we look at the houses, about 200 million houses are considered to be energy inefficient. Also taking into account that over 200 million houses have been built in the last century. Mo many of them being heated with outdated heating systems. Just imagine that over 15% of buildings are still heated with heavily polluting fossil fuels like coal and oil. This means over 30 million houses. So this is clear that the residential market has a very large carbon footprint. And we see a massive challenge to remedy this. Now how can we remedy this? Well, at Daikin, we identify four key steps to decarbonize the heat in the residential market. Let's start at today's situation. Only one out of 10 heating systems that is currently being installed in Europe are heat pumps. So the first step that we see is to make sure that in, in the new build market, we ensure that all heating is happening in a renewable way with heat pumps. Therefore, we look at further strengthening of regulations throughout Europe so that new built houses are always heated in a renewable way. So far for new built, but 85% of all heating systems are actually being installed in the replacement market boiler replacing by a new boiler. So there we see that 
the next step is for in the replacement market to increase the replacement rate which today lies only at 1% of the total heating part per year. So this would be a push for end users to replace their existing heating system with a more efficient one, ideally one running on renewable energy. The target here would be to double that replacement rate in this coming decade. A third step to decarbonize heat is to discourage the incentives for fossil fuels and there, on the opposite, encourage end users to replace their current heating system with a one using renewable energy. Heat pumps are there the logical solution. And a fourth and final step is to have local governments ensure that renewable heating becomes a standard in the replacement market. With these four steps we see that by the end of 2030 four out of ten heating systems could be heat pumps. One can ask to what extent heat pumps can drive the decarbonization of heat. Well we see three main characteristics. Heat pumps run on renewable energy, they are a low carbon technology and they are an energy saver. Let's take a closer look at these three elements. First of all, heat pumps run on thermal energy, coming from the air, ground or water. And there are different heat pump types that can apply. The most familiar maybe is the air-to-air -air heat pump, which in general cools but can also heat, which can fit perfectly depending on the climate zone or when no domestic hot water production is required. However, we know that over 130 million houses are heating their house with water-based systems. So they use radiators, convectors or underfloor heating to distribute the heat in the different rooms in the house. It is clear that hydronic heat pumps can fulfill these needs and replace perfectly existing combustion boilers in the market. In this case, there are different types of heat pumps that can apply, thinking about air-to-water heat pumps, ground-to-water or hybrid heat pumps. Coming back to the aspect of the thermal energy, an important advantage of this one is that it's abundantly available throughout Europe. This means it does not need to be imported. And that's a key factor for Europe. As we see that over half of all energy needs that Europe has, that needs to be imported. And these are mostly fossil fuels, petroleum-based products, coal or gas. This dependency rate on these fossil fuels is even increasing over the years. And an additional disadvantage of th this import is that very often these fossil fuels have volatile fuel prices and suffer from disrupted supply. Therefore, by increasing the number of heat pumps that we use running on this thermal renewable energy, we reduce our dependency and make sure that we have a more secure energy supply and a more resilient energy system. A second characteristic of our heat pumps is the fact that they have a low carbon footprint. Studies have shown that the carbon impact of a heat pump is half of that of a high efficiency gas boiler. And we believe that this carbon impact will further reduce in the future thanks to the decarbonization of the electricity production. Today, green electricity is about 35% of the total 
electricity use in Europe. The target of the European Union is to increase this to 60%. And the final element to address is the fact that the heat pump is an energy saver. We measure this efficiency through the COP, the coefficient of performance, which basically calculates the ratio between the power input and the resulting power output. We go one step further by calculating the seasonal COP, which is basically the heat pump's average annual energy performance. And that measurement is used in our daily life because it determines the energy label that is produced for heat pumps. So, in summary, we have three different ways that heat pumps can decarbonize heat and are increasingly being used in such a way in Europe. Let's have a look at where they are used. Heat pumps are implemented widely and are clearly a proven solution. Let's have a closer look at the solutions that are implemented. Today, they are put into single-family houses, apartments, commercial buildings and industrial plants. In the residential area, we have already installed over 700,000 of our Daikin Altherma heat pumps from north to south, east to west, thanks to its wide operation ranges, even going down to minus 28 degrees Celsius. I would like to go through our offer in terms of hydronic heat pumps. And the first one to look at is the new build segment, where we see today already one out of two houses being installed with a hydronic heat pump. This is very much linked to local regulations which drive the improved energy performance of the house. An important benefit of a hydronic heat pump is its capacity to cool as well next to heat. Cooling becomes an increasing requirement in Europe, partly due to the climate change, but also because houses are becoming increasingly insulated. In a normal setup or standard setup, we have next to the combustion boiler a separate HVAC system that provides the cooling comfort. The big benefit of a hydronic heat pump is that it can also cool and thereby have increased emission reduction as well as benefiting from a single investment in a unit. So that's a clear advantage of our Daikin Altherma heat pump. A practical example can be found in France, where we have installed the Daikin Altherma 3R, which provides heating, cooling and domestic hot water to a series of houses in Saint-Malo, which range from 100 to 130 square meters. When we look at new build, we should also take a look at apartment buildings. These actually consist out of half of all the new build that's taking place in Europe. Although still not so common in implementation, we do see a growing interest for heat pumps in apartment buildings. There are two options. Either we heat the apartment building in a decentralized way, meaning that we put individual heat pumps per apartment. An example can be seen here in Boom in Belgium, where we have installed 116 Daikin Altherma 3R, so the same as in the individual houses, in this apartment building. The other alternative is more applicable to large and high-rise building where it is more common to choose for centralized or semi-centralized solutions. In this case, we might opt for a combination of different heat pump types. 
Very soon, we will offer in this range our Dicanal Thermo 3 WS, which is a water loop heat pump, which is perfectly fitting in this type of buildings. But so far, new build. Our development center has worked a lot in ensuring that we are able to fit our heat pumps in all applications. So also in the replacement market, replacing combustion boiler with a heat pump. And that in the coldest climate temperatures. For that reason, we have made sure that we develop our products so that they respond to the end user requirements. Because we see that for the end user, the heat pump technology in replacement is not yet a well adopted and well accepted solution. For that reason, we make sure that our heat pumps have low sound, especially on the outdoor units, that they consist of contemporary design indoor and outdoor, and that we ensure comfort at all times. For that reason, we secure that our heat pumps are providing similar temperatures as an existing combustion border. To do that in an efficient way, we equip all our Dicanal thermos with a weather-dependent flow temperature setting. All these technology aspects and developments we have implemented in our Dicanal Therma 3 HHT. It is our quintessence of heat pump, which is fit for the existing houses, large houses, in very low ambient temperature zones. I invite you to watch the following video that explains what the product is about. This unit comes in large capacities, ranging from 14 to 18 class. This year, we extend our family with smaller units, from 8 to 12 class. This unit is based on the same product, but fit for houses that have a more small or medium size, or houses that have a lower heat load. This can be due to the fact that we, they were built more recent or that they went through an in-depth renovation. To optimize the efficiency for these houses, we have produced a product to ensure that it produces a 65 degrees leaving water temperature, still maintaining the low sound and design characteristics of the bigger brother. But we haven't stopped here. We've also looked at 
heat pump development for other climate zones, the mid or warmer climates, or houses where we have limited installation availability, or simply because of installer preferences. And for that reason, we have developed our Dykenal Therma 3M, our first monoblock heat pump in large capacities that is running on R32. This unit comes with a complete new redesign. From a visual perspective, we have a flat grille which hides the fan and a new light grey casing to allow the unit to blend in perfectly in its surroundings. We created the unit with only one single fan to provide heat for high capacity. This optimized shape results in a lower unit so that the unit can be installed under a windowsill. Moreover, the unit is easy to install and thanks to its monoblock principle with its closed refrigerant cycle, it's possible for every heating installer to install the unit irrespective of its familiarity with refrigerant piping. Let's have a look at how this unit looks in practice. This unit comes in capacities from 19 to 16 kilowatts and as said it's a monoblock. But later on this year we will also bring to market a refrigerant split and this refrigerant split is the first one running on R32 in high capacities up to 16 kilowatts. It has almost the same characteristics of the monoblock version in terms of the looks and the single fan. But moreover, it can provide cooling. And this cooling capacity is today unique in our industry for refrigerant split heat pumps in these high capacities. The overview of our solutions for replacement would not be complete if I would not mention our hybrid offer. Thanks to the Daikin control for hybrids, we ensure that the end user is only paying the most cost and price effective energy at that moment. Our offer includes a hydro split version which runs on R32 and which also allows the outdoor unit to be connected even to an existing gas boiler. We also have a refrigerant split version which has next to heating also cooling feature and we have our multi-hybrid heat pump which allows to combine the hydronic heat pump with our multi-split indoor units. This way we can benefit from the best of both air-to-water and air-to-air -air heat pump. An additional option lies in the potential installation of a domestic hot water tank. When this is installed, we can ensure that also the domestic hot water production of the hybrid heat pump is happening through the heat pump mode, so thereby even further lowering its carbon footprint. Now our total offer is working thanks to being always in control for the end user. This means that we have a series of design thermostats, our online controller app, and Stand By Me, which is the online support tool for end users, at which they can obtain additional warranty. For our installer community, we have a series of online tools like the Heating Solution Navigator, our digital toolbox to ensure the configuration of the installation, counting over thousands of users per month. And we have Stand By Me, our online support tool, today already having 200,000 installations registered. Moreover, we have 
eCare, or mobile app, which can further optimize the support to our installer base. Having said all that, I believe that we are ready to decarbonize heat in the residential sector. Our portfolio, and by extension the whole heat pump industry in Europe, is ready to decarbonize heat. We are standing at the forefront worldwide on heat pump development. The European industry has a lot of local production that guarantees also job creation and contributes to the local economies. At Daikin, we make sure we develop our heat pumps in Europe for Europe. We do that through our European Development Centre. This is our worldwide centre for heat pump and heating development. It counts over 220 people and will soon be located in a new location in Ghent, Belgium, where we will have a 140 million euro investment in a top-notch building to ensure correct development and testing of our units. Moreover, we also produce in Europe. We have a long-standing tradition with manufacturing sites in Europe since more than 45 years. Amongst our sites, we count five of them that are dedicated to heat pumps. We have one in Italy, two in Czech Republic, one in Germany, and here in Ostend, from where I'm presenting, we count the largest manufacturing site of heat pumps in Europe. Consumers are also increasingly ready. We see the interest popping up throughout Europe for applying renewable energy and specifically heat pumps. This is supported with governments creating incentives again throughout Europe to favorize heat pumps to be installed in houses. Just to name a few, we have the Green Homes Ground in UK, Boiler Replacement Scheme in France and the Super Eco Bonus in Italy. With this, we are ready to implement our four steps of decarbonization in Europe, making sure that we can implement the renovation wave and soon target to see a heat pump in every home in Europe. Thank you, Hervé, for this insightful presentation on the renovation wave and the role of heat pumps. The use of Daikin heat pumps will definitely provide a better and greener future. That's it for now. Be sure to check out our other webinars on the agenda of the ISH platform. Goodbye.